Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, June 25th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we're down 0.19% uh, uh, at this current stage. And uh, we are just bouncing in between the 20 exponential moving average up at 14.00 and at the 150 down here at 13. 89 so until we basically break above the 50 moving average we're we're just going to stay within this range we're probably just going to go back and forward before going higher if we were to break lower then the 200 moving average is right down here and that will offer a quite a lot of support and um, if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is still bearish the rsi is flat on the edge of being oversold we have the cci that is bearish and the stochastic that is bullish and we did make it, uh, a run towards the middle of the bullish band, got rejected before, and it kind of looks like we could be heading back towards these previous lows. That is that is to be seen, but still, the 150 did hold today, and we did not break below that, and we did not break above the 20 exponential. So until we basically break to the upside or the downside, it is, um, it is just a waiting game. So let's do US dollar, Japanese yen. With this finally... Um, basically had a little bit of a pullback and it's probably just going to be the start of a pullback towards the 20 exponential or the 40 exponential down here at roughly 109. So we could see a pullback of roughly 1% to the downside. As we see, when we have gotten outside of the bullish band at the top, it has basically broken down and um, this is just a continuation of uh, that trend. We could break down towards the middle, we could also break down towards the very bottom. At this point, it has uh, broken down towards the middle of the bullish band or roughly the 20 exponential. So a drop of give or take 0.66% to the downside. But we are in uptrend. There's no point of, uh, of, of selling this. It is buying the dips that kind of has been working the best for this market. So let's look at the euro US dollar. And this is really struggling. So at this current stage, we have tested the 300 moving averages several times in the last um, last three trading days, and we have not managed to to break above and and basically close above the 300 moving average, and that is a fairly worrying sign. This could mean that we'll roll over from here if we basically take out these previous lows, then we are dropping significantly lower. If we look at technical indicators, we can see that. MACD is still bearish, the RSI is flat, the CCI is bearish, the stochastic is bullish, and we are basically very low here in the bullish band. We could, it was expected for this to make a run towards the middle of the bullish band, but uh, we have not managed to do so. We're also oversold, so uh, considering that we are oversold and we are basically at the bottom of the bullish band, uh, and the stochastic is basically rallying, I should should be expecting for this to rally to the upside, but but 300 moving average is still holding, and if we take out these previous lows here, then we are dropping significantly lower. We are in a fairly, we have been dropping. We did drop roughly 3.4 percent to the downside from the highs, and it's not until we basically break above the 50 moving average that we are going to test these previous highs again. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. And this continues to rally up towards the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average. We are still uh, just over uh, 31 here in the RSI, and we're approaching the middle of the bullish band. So if we rally up towards the middle of the bullish band, there's a rally of roughly 0.79%, and just uh, at the 200 moving average rejection there could mean that we will fall back towards the 300 moving average, but uh, the US dollar will basically decide this F. If the US dollar continues to, uh, to appreciate, then this will fall. If it starts to depreciate, then this will continue to rise. If you look at other technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still very bearish, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and there is a little room to the upside still to the middle of the bullish band. Could expect a pullback when we get to that point. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, this has bounced from the, um, the previous resistance line and the 20 exponential moving average, and now it's just uh, hanging around in between the 100 moving average and the 20 exponential moving average. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bullish, 
RSI is flat, CCI is flat, and the stochastic is bearish at this current stage. If we break below the middle of the bullish band, then we could basically drop all the way down towards the bottom. And that's a drop of roughly 2.15% to the downside or the previous lows here. So it is to be seen. It still looks like we're still in this downward trend. We did have a massive rally to the upside, mainly due to the US dollar. Uh, but, um, but at this point, it is to be seen whether or not we manage to continue rallying to the upside. Otherwise, if we rally from here, we need to take out the 150, and that will give a fairly good indication that we are probably going to change direction in this currency pair. So, hope you find it helpful. You want to support the channel, but subscribe and hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.